this is Andrew Moore's classic 1976 work SS a pictorial history 1923 to 1945 really really good book see if you can find that one second hand it's part of the blurb I won't go into the blurb about the SS because all the books technically have the same description more or less this one unlike other pictorial histories which concentrate on the wartime role of the Waffen SS this unique collection of 362 photographs assembled from archives all over the world illustrates the complexity of the SS organization and the diversity of its activities it shows the maternity homes and illustrates SS ideas concerning gene genealogy and race the concentration camps which specialize in extermination and those that manage mink farms and herb gardens the Waffen SS and its foreign units and the Gestapo so it is for the time a really superb book it goes right the way from 23 to 45 and looks at the organizational aspects of it rather than the usual action photographs so it is really well worth finding so we'll have a look through this one so pictorial history of the ss 1923 to 45 by andrew Mollo. So it goes through by, uh, it starts at 1900, it goes all the way through to 45 to said empire the various camps Also uprising, Battle of the Bulge, 1945. And this is from a newsreel. As American reconnaissance vehicles approach, approach a camp at Murnau in Austria, Polish prisoners rush joyfully to the wire. Suddenly, a vehicle approaches from the opposite direction and the American armoured car opens fire. So that's a vehicle that appears. You make an armoured car, opens fire on it. This is the dust on the road caused by all the bullets hitting the road. Later, the Americans discovered they've shot up an SS staff car. Belson. This is the final surrender. And again, there's another look. All 
those standards that were captured, well, were taken from storage. And you have the various trials. This is a interesting thing. Believe it or not, this is a photograph from post-war. After the war, former members of the Waffen-SS did not qualify for ex-servicemen benefits, so they formed a mutual aid association called the HAYAG, which still exists today and continues to publish a monthly magazine. Here an Indian looks at the sign erected by HAYAG at the reception camp for released prisoners of war from the Soviet Union. Friedland, 20th December 1955. That's Adolf Eichmann in his cell in 1961, and that's where he finishes that. So, yeah, it is a really good book. SS, A Pictorial History, 1923-45, by Andrew Mollow.